Hey everybody, Mr. Simon here with Hot Toast Music Company, and I have a book to read to you. It's called Little Monkey Calms Down. Let's check it out. Little Monkey Calms Down, written by Michael Dahl and illustrated by Oriel Vidal. Poor little monkey. Oh man. Looks like he's having a rough day. Oh! Sure enough. He is having a tough time. Have you guys ever felt like that? I know I have. Little monkey feels sad and mad and angry. Those are three really big emotions. To feel them all at once, that's a lot. That's a lot of feelings. Calm down, little monkey. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. Calm down, little monkey. Cuddle with your blankie. I have a blankie, do you? can really help me calm down sometimes. Calm down, little monkey. Take a deep breath. <sighs> that did feel good. Calm down, little monkey. Sing a quiet song. We're gonna do that in just a second. Calm down, little monkey. Be still and relax. Let's try it. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I do feel better already. Are you feeling better, little monkey? What do you think? Seems like it. Now, let's have a Fun day. The end. Little Monkey found some ways to calm down. And these are some great ideas. If we're ever feeling those big emotions and we need to find ways to calm down, you can totally do it just like Little Monkey did. Taking a deep breath, finding your lovey or a cuddly blanket, getting some hugs, from your mom, and your dad, or a good friend. I have a song about this that I'd like to share with you. Hang on one second. Let me get my guitar. Oh, there we go. So, when my son Isaac was about two years old, he was having some big emotions, a lot like Little Monkey was. And it just so happens we were on a vacation near the ocean. And in the middle of what was a giant fit, we opened the door and listened to the sound outside. And do you know what we heard? We were close enough to hear the ocean waves crashing on the shore and then rolling back out into the sea. And it sounded like this. And when we stopped and listened to it, suddenly the whole world went silent and all we could hear was the sound of those waves. And it did something to us. Instead of feeling all those big emotions and throwing a big fit, we just stopped and we started breathing along with the waves. And in almost no time at all, we were calm and we could think clearly and we found a solution to the problem. So, I didn't ever want to forget that. So I wrote a song with my son Isaac and I want to share it with you today. This is called Breathe In, Breathe Out. Here's how it goes. Breathe out and breathe in. 
Let's all take another ocean breath Just like the waves crash on the beach And roll back out to the sea That's the sound that it makes when we See you next time.